Hi guys, John the Firearms Instructor bringing you another drill. We're going to start doing these every Friday. We're going to call it the Friday Challenge. We want to be able to make a target for you to take it to the range wherever you are and come shoot it. We put these up here at our range. Let students shoot it. This is called the box drill. And the box drill, what it does for us, it helps us work on our proficiency or accuracy. We've got three size boxes and these correlated numbers are the yardages that you want to shoot it at. Three yards, five yards, seven yards. Working on a, a, a defensive accuracy thing is not about this drill. This drill is more about pinpoint accuracy, trusting your sights to impact where you're aiming them at. So you start at three yards, you put five rounds in the gun, you cut five shots, same thing at five, same thing at seven. Maximum score on this is a 15. You want to be somewhere at 80% on this drill. If you're totally missing at three, five, or seven, you want to try to complete those before you move on. So if we shoot three here and we miss, we're going to want to make sure we hit five shots in that, five shots in the five, five shots in the seven. This is a great drill. Gives you something to do at the range without really getting any kind of uh, boredom. You know, always having something fun to do is the key thing to, to learn to shoot properly. So let's go ahead and try this for myself. We'll see how I do. I'm going to be the first one doing the box challenge. And we'll go from there. Real thing about this is being consistent on trigger engagement. And keeping the weapon level while you're doing it. I'm going to have Jacob try to move the camera just a little bit to get over my shoulder to see impact because of my big ass back. So just give us a second and we'll get that camera adjusted. All right, the camera's adjusted. We're going to start at three here. Pull that in. I think I one. That's six rounds in there. So there's five there. That sixth one here is there. Let's get it back to five. That's a good group. Let's go ahead and hit five now. You notice the boxes are getting a little bigger, so we want to make sure that we adjust accordingly. Here's five. Okay. All right, so that one's pulled out there a little bit. So there's two missed already. We'll put it up to 20 just to make sure. There's 21, seven yards. We'll see how you do. Want to try to keep that weapon as level as possible. Keep your trigger finger slowly coming back at a slow cadence. And try to work on bending at your waist, not your wrist, aim the gun. These are all will make impacts different. Let's see if I can work this seven out here. Holy shit. could have gone a little higher that's two in that whole same hole there i would highly recommend you try this obviously i didn't do that great have a little bit of room for improvement got to pull here pull here pull here the more we do this the easier it become i'll come back to the maybe next week and show you my targets after working on it for a little bit three five seven guys groups tight remember in a defensive situation there is no bullseyes. We want to be able to run the gun and be proficient with a pistol as best we can. 
this is a good drill for you to use. Just try this monthly challenge. I think it'll be fun. By the way, this target will be downloadable in the links below. You'll be able to download this target and print it on your computer, take it to the range, and have fun with it. Until next time, God bless, be safe, and remember, you are your first line of defense. Give the monthly challenge a try.